Bob Maloney from MMANews.com, and I'm talking to my man again, J.J. Veramendi. J.J. has been very busy kickboxing, Muay Thai. My man is is really, you know, kicking up a storm, and he has a title fight coming up. J.J., first, let me say, great to see you, man. I know you've been training hard. How you feeling? It's got to be a great feeling going into a title fight, and as your career progresses, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, man, it's always good seeing you, Bob. Uh, I feel great, honestly. I'm in the best shape of my life. I've never, never felt this good. Um, it, I notice every, after every fight, I'm only getting better and better. When it comes to my health, the shape, my uh, physical physique, everything I could think of is only only going up, and I'm loving it. And I just can't wait for this fight to happen. I get to show everybody what what I do. It seems like you're constantly in fight camp because you get yeah. finished a fight. And then I'm following you on social media, and JJ's already scheduled for another fight. So, listen, real life sometimes gets in the way. But talk to me: how many days are you able to get into to 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 you know see crew to to train when you're in camp? Are you in there five six days a week? Tell me a little bit of, about your weekly schedule during camp. Yeah, I'm in there four days a week, um, but I'm in I'm with him for like three hours uh, every single time I'm with him. Uh, and not only am I doing that, but I'm in the gym doing strength and conditioning uh, for an, another three hours every single day. Um, so I'm, I'm always I'm constantly doing something. I'm constantly doing something twice a day. Um, so I, I always have my heartbeat going and I'm ready for anything. Well, listen, you told me this fight to 200 pounds. You're, yeah. st- you're still a young growing boy. I mean, is, is 205 going to be your future, a light heavyweight? Or do you think, you know, when you get a little bit you know, when you decide to become a pro, because you're still doing the amateur, do you think you'll go down and wait? What What do you think? What does the coach think? What, where will you think you will wind up at? Um, I have no idea, actually. Um, it's, it's completely possible that I could go down to 185. I would say at the, at the, at the lowest. Um, but like you said, I'm young. My body's always changing. Uh, I could, out of nowhere, get more mus- muscular, more muscle, more muscle mass to me and look like a natural 205 pound uh fighter but yeah because you because you are tall i mean you're 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 not a small person you're you're a tall guy and like i said you're still growing so just stay away from that heavyweight uh, yeah i'm weight. not touching that no that's, that's a different that's a different level right there <laughs> so talk listen talk to me about listen i know same old man you recruit and and yeah. the family you know tell me about you know if any, is anybody else on this car with you from your camp? If not, who's, you know, who's, you know, helping you get ready? Yeah, no, no, I'm the only one on this, on this card. Um, but this camp, this is, this has been one of the best camps I've, I've had so far. Uh, I've had uh, my, my two biggest guys helping me. I got Brandon Masonette, crew Brandon Masonette and coach Reggie, man. These two guys, they've helped me so much through this camp. So this camp's been physical, physical, not just on, on me, but physically putting out as well um I, I can't thank them enough they've they've done everything for me and they're like they're uh laying down the gravel for me to walk on and it, it's it's gonna show on friday well jj listen one of the things i like that i never even asked you about this but i like to ask young fighters because yeah. i'm more and more guys don't like to run for their cardio some guys i know like to they say you know, you're not running in the cage, so they like to do like just spar a lot of sparring. Okay. How do you, how do you approach your cardio? Do you run, swim? Do you just tr- spar extra rounds? What's yeah. your main focus of cardio? Honestly, I feel like you have to do everything. That's it's literally the only way. So we spar, we do our rounds, we do our bag work rounds. Uh, that's one thing about this camp is like. We put our rounds in when it comes to the bag. Our bag is our second training partner. That that I mean, that's our first training partner. That's our that's our uh, that's our uh, fundamental right there. Um, so we put our rounds in the bag. We do our sparring. Me personally, I do I I do uh, 30 minutes uh, max on the treadmill, and then I jump rope for 15 uh, at the least. Listen, tell me a little bit about about Crew Masonette. How besides the training, like the, the physical part of it, tell me a little bit about he, how he helps you or how he talks you or how you guys work on like the, the mental approach, because, you know, fighting is more than just 
training your body. It's it's yeah. a mental. It's it's a challenge. You're you know it's it's mental too. So tell me a little bit about you know his technique or how he works with you that way, working on your mind. Uh, the best way to put it is fighting. Fighting, just how you said it, fighting is not just with your hands. It's, it's, it's a mental thing, and it comes with your mouth as well. Uh, and that's one thing he brings. He brings that attitude, and he not only does he bring it, but he puts it on us, and that's what we bring to the ring as well. Uh, we, we're coming in there. We're coming in hard. We're coming in strong. We're coming in fast. Um, and that, that's, that's just what we do at Mason. That's Muay Thai. We, we, come and we come to fight not just with our hands. I love his style. Listen, I love the man. I love his style. So I'm not just you, but everybody, like you said, out of the camp, it's like, you know, you do, you do the same thing, come forward. What's your prediction for the fight? I'm predicting I'm coming home with that belt. I'm bringing that uh, belt back to Mason S. Muay Thai and back in Pennsylvania. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna get it done. I'm going to get it done. All right, give out some shout outs or some love to anybody you want, JJ. Listen, you, as your career is progressing, you're becoming more and more of a veteran. You're still young in this in the sport, but obviously, you know, this is like your what, sixth or seventh fight now. So yeah. plus the tournament. So as you you know, each fight you're learning more and more and you're you need more and more help. So if you have any sponsors or anybody you want to give some shout outs to, the time is yours. Yeah, no, uh first I wanna give uh a shout out to my camp, Mason Ed's Muay Thai. Uh, crew Hamza Masonette, uh, crew Brandon Masonette, and uh, Coach Reggie. Um, those guys, they're doing this for me, helping me out. Uh, and I also want to give it to my family. Uh, they're supporting me 100% throughout all this. It's, it's hard. It's hard uh, to support uh, uh, one individual doing something like this, fighting. Fighting's hard. And I appreciate it for them. You tell crew from me that I, I, I want you to get ready because I want to see you in the cage doing some MMA next. If I'm, I'm, I'm asking nicely, hopefully <laughs> that's the future. But listen, if not, listen, if not, you know what? Kickboxing, Muay Thai, nonstop action. It's such a great sport. And uh, yeah. no matter what you do, I'm going to be a fan. My man, JJ. JJ Varamendi, remember the name. He's an up and coming prospect. He brings it. And, uh, you know, he's fun to watch, man. Give him yeah. a follow on social media. He's fighting for the title this week. And uh, I can't wait to talk to you afterwards, man. Best of luck and best of skill to you. I know you're going to put on a great show because you always do. It's always great to talk to you and see you, my man. Thank you so much. It's always good talking to you. All right, brother. All right.